Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the best TKO mechanical keyboards in 2020. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check out the links in the description below. If you'd like to win one of these products, make sure you watch the whole video, click the like button and comment the hidden word found in this video. Number 5. Techware Phantom 87 Key The brand might not be a household name, but for the money, it delivers more than you would expect. It's a 10 keyless keyboard with a small and compact body, pretty light, beautiful design, not so many features, but for the price, just perfect. This amazing keyboard measures just 15.8 by 7.4 by 2 inches, which is pretty small and great for portability and utilizing it in small spaces. On the bottom of the keyboard, you'll spot four rubber feet for stabilizing the device and the keycap puller. The Techware Phantom 87 has built out a plastic throughout, but it has utilized a pretty high quality plastic as it feels pretty substantial and sturdy. You can choose one of the 18 LED lighting modes that can be activated or swapped by pressing the function button and one of the F keys up top. On the company's website, you'll find software for the keyboard. However, it's not a refined software as it is a little buggy and not as responsive. This keyboard utilizes Utamu mechanical switches that are custom made for this one, and you can select one of the variations blue, red, and brown, which deliver a great experience. Each one is perfect for a purpose, but for gaming, I would choose the red ones, as they deliver a great fast-paced gaming experience for FPS and MMORPGs. While it's not the most feature-rich keyboard in the market, the Techware Phantom 87 delivers plenty of performance for its extremely affordable price. Number 4. Glorious GMMK TKL the GMMK is a very clean product. The only thing that gives away that it's a gaming keyboard is the fact that the standard escape key is replaced with a launch the nuke style key which says ascend. But aside from that, it's a very sleek and professional looking keyboard with absolutely no branding anywhere. The GMMK comes pre-built with Gator and Browns, but you can also order a completely empty board and choose your own switches and keycaps. The glorious modular mechanical keyboard, better known as the GMMK, is an overall great keyboard. The switches themselves are a little loud, but that's just the nature of the switches. The keyboard had a lot of less volume when I tried some more discreet ones. The people over at Glorious have set out on a difficult mission. They aim to create unique gaming accessories engineered for premium quality and elite level performance sold at every man prices. That's a bold statement, but I really do feel like they're on the right path with the GMMK series. The GMMK is a really nice keyboard, which would admittedly not be very remarkable on its own, but Glorious have managed to raise the stakes by making it modular. If that's something that interests you or you haven't really settled on a permanent switch type, then you should definitely check this one out. Number 3. Durgod Taurus K320 TKL the Durgod Taurus K320 is a decent mechanical keyboard. This keyboard has a great build that's made of solid plastic that doesn't show any noticeable flex. Typing feels great, and there are two incline settings that should help reduce fatigue or pain. Also, the keycaps are made of PBT plastic and feel nice to touch. There are macro programmable keys, and you can reprogram every button in the companion software. Our unit has Cherry MX Brown switches, but it's available in a wide variety of switches and colors. Our unit doesn't have any backlighting, but it's an option that's available depending on the variant you choose. The Taurus K320 TKL continues to deliver when it comes to physical features and accessories. I did tell you this keyboard is the real deal. Unlike many others, it has two height-adjustable flip-out feet, which gives you three possible angles for typing, tall, mid, and flat. Another thing that Durgod got right are the indicator lights that are four in total, three for the lock keys, and one to indicate MR mode is active. The last subject touch on is the Zeus engine software, and surprise, surprise, that's good too. Once installed, the software will bring you to a home screen similar to what you get from Corsair and Logitech. Once launched, you'll select the product that you want to use. Durgod makes other keyboards, including RGB models and mice. The K320 doesn't have RGB, so the options that you'll have to choose from are largely based on key remapping. The Durgod Taurus K320 TKL is a decent gaming keyboard that you should definitely consider. Number 2. Ducky 1-2 TKL The Ducky 1-2 TKL is a very good, wired mechanical gaming keyboard. Our unit uses Cherry MX Brown switches, which offer tactile feedback and very little noise. The Ducky 1-2 RGB TKL comes with a set of reasonably thick PBT and POM double-shot keycaps with translucent legends for RGB lightings. 
Although you'll find double shot keycaps on other cheaper alternatives as well, those are actually made of ABS material and will not last as long as PBT material made keycaps. The Ducky 1 2 RGB TKL comes with a standard TKL ANSI layout for the Malaysian market, which makes it easier to find keycaps replacement as compared to the non standard layout. Unlike some of the previous Ducky keyboards, the Ducky 1 2 RGB now has its logo printed at the back of the case, not on the spacebar keycap. The Docky 1 2 TKL is an excellent keyboard for gaming. The Cherry MX Brown switches are now a unit of low pre travel and don't require a lot of force to actuate. That said, it's available in a wide variety of switches. It has full RGB backlighting, which can be customized with the Docky RGB Companion software. Also, every key is macro programmable, and recording is done on the keyboard. Number 1 SteelSeries Apex 7 TKL SteelSeries knows that to stand out from all the other similar keyboards, they need something unique. Their RGB engine is every bit as flexible and colorful as the other top name brands. They have a macro engine, onboard profiles, multimedia control, and more. So, in that respect, they're very competitive. The aluminium construction is sublime, and the USB pass through is a welcome addition, too. I guess the real unique features are the magnetic wrist rest and the stunning OLED display. Overall, though, it's a pretty complete package that any PC user and gamer can appreciate. The Apex 7 TKL can be viewed as an unofficial successor to SteelSeries Apex M750 TKL keyboard, and both products share many design features, including a classy, rigid aluminium frame. Both keyboards are available with SteelSeries custom red switches, and the Apex 7 TKL offers the option for brown or blue switches as well. All three key types fall under the umbrella of SteelSeries' own QX2 mechanisms. The Apex 7 TKL is an outstanding gaming keyboard. The tactile switches react quickly to every keystroke without much force, and they provide a tactile feedback so that you know that the keystroke was registered. The double shot keycaps ensure the longevity of the key legends, and the full RGB backlighting is great for darkroom gaming, as well as to highlight important keys. Buying Guide Firstly, Feels. This typically describes the physical switches used by the keyboard. Feels range from rubber dome and scissor switches, which technically are mechanical keyboards, but not what most people mean, to the buckling spring, ALPS, and the more common Cherry MX. If you're looking for high-end feels, then Top Ray is the way to go. Secondly, Form Factor. The first step in choosing the right keyboard is deciding what layout you want. The traditional full-size board is still the most common, but you might want to use your mechanical transition to change it up. A full-size board has all the keys you need to operate a computer without worrying about any function layers. There's a full number pad as well. The main drawback of this size is that it's rather large and inefficient. You have to move your hands quite far to reach everything, and the number pad means your mouse will be pushed farther away from your main typing area. This is why I don't like full-size boards, personally. And thirdly, switches. Ah, switches. This is a huge part of the mechanical keyboard experience. Knowing what you intend to use the keyboard for and what levels of noise, travel distance, and bump you desire will allow you to narrow down your options considerably. By far, the most popular switches are Cherry MX, and they come in multiple varieties that offer different features depending on just what you're looking for. Remember, one of the biggest perks for going mechanical is the level of customizability it offers. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.